Hello and welcome to this short tutorial. My name is Don and I will show you how to hide and show multiple sections that are all bound to a single group based on a condition. This approach is one of the common practices used when hiding multiple sections. And it works great for questionnaires, especially for the ones with follow-up questions. This approach actually uh, makes your form neat and tidy. First, I'll show you the form in preview. This is how the form works using the technique I'm about to explain. Now, if you select a, uh, an answer, it's going to show a, a new sub-question underneath the question. The same thing happens for the rest of the questions. Now, if you look at the form in design mode, you will see or notice that the sub-questions are all bound to the same repeat or the same group, which is the follow-up answers group. And each of these sections have a different condition. If we change one of the conditions here to, uh, let's say, no, if, we, if the user answers no, and let's change the text here, and ask him why not. Let's look at what's going to happen in preview. Oops, let's fix the, uh, the table's height first, not this one. So if we view this in preview, you will notice that the logic for the second question has changed. The sub-question will now appear if you click no. So this is based on the condition that you add or that you uh, put to the, to the selected uh, section. Now let's say you want to add a new question below. Let's say, let's ask the user if he, he wants to build a snowman. Do you want to build a snowman? Now this is based from the new film, uh, Frozen. And now let's add another field, which we shall call snowman. And add an option button. Two option buttons. One for yes and the other one is for no. Let's move this one from here to the other cell. Let's fix the margin, sorry, put it dead center and change the value to yes for the first one and no for the second one. Now, uh, instead of uh, showing another uh, sub-question, let's uh, show a comment this time. For adding a section, uh, usually uh, users click on the, uh, s the, the group here and click on section. Now, what happens is sometimes it destroys your form's layout. So what I usually do to uh, to prevent that from happening is uh, instead of using that technique, I'm going to add a, a new section here. Let's add two since uh, we're going to show a different comment based on the uh, answer selected. And we will uh, bind this to the desired uh, group. Let's do this for the second one as well. And let's delete this one. Now for this one, let's add a comment. Cool. You 
you should try it, bro. And let's change the font. Let's add a shading to uh, to show that this is not a question or part of the uh, the first question. And for this one, you can see that um, this section is bound to the uh, sub questions group, but it doesn't have any uh, conditional formatting here, and we can add one. So let's show this if the user answers yes. Tell him that he's cool. Hi if no. And here let's select the uh, proper field and put here if it's not equal to yes, which is no. Click this hide this control. Let's copy these rule and paste it onto the next one. And let's hide it if the user says yes. Therefore, we need to change this to no. And let's preview it and see what happens. So if I select yes here, select no here, select yes. If I click Yes, here it should show cool. This is correct. If the user selects no, you should try it, bro. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this short guide. Uh, let us know if you have uh, any questions. Have a good day.